it's time for a rework of the dual sheet redux situation. The XP32 skeleton mod has vastly changed now has a MCM menu and a new requirement being the race menu mod. After the XP32 skeleton was updated to version 4.51, I needed to do testing and it's time for new working instruction. After completing this tutorial, you will be able to select your dual sheet redux options in the MCM menu and options for most weapons in the XP32 MCM menu. Upon saving your game, your choices are carried with the save. This tutorial is compatible with a Tuco Guide modded game, but it should work fine if you use the following prerequisites. Take a note of the mod requirements for this to work as intended. SKSE and FNIS installation videos are linked in the description. Pause the video and get all of those mods installed with Mod Organizer 2 first. Use the Tuco guide if you are rather new to Mod Organizer. After that, I will now show you the XP32 and Pretty Combat animation installations. So, a part of the Skyrim script extender, SkyUI, the unofficial patch. You will need the race menu, which is a straightforward installation. Then you need the XP32 maximum skeleton. And when you visit the Tuco guide and go to the character overhaul section, the XP32 maximum skeleton is here. Get the main file and once you are installing it, you can click here for my installation choices. And this page will open. Once you install it, please choose those options. It's all linked in the Tuco guide. As far as pretty combat animations, please install the mod and during the installation choose the options in the consecutive windows as shown here. And that is it for the mod requirements. Either they have videos in the Tuco guide for precise instructions or they are described by screenshots for the XP32 or by listing the consecutive choices here for pretty combat animations. Now we will move on to the software and tools that we need. You will need 7-zip. Download it here, link is in the video description. After installing it you might need to go to your C drive program files 7-zip. Right click on 7zfm.exe, send to create desktop shortcut. It might not be created automatically. Then open the 7-zip file manager, go to tools, options and associate or archives with 7-zip by clicking the plus here, confirm with OK. You will need Java 32 and 64 bit, link in the description. You will need creation kit for Skyrim install, go to bethesda.net. Join or sign in, then download the launcher, install it, sign in. Accept the agreements. And from the launcher click here on the creation kit for Skyrim and then click install which will appear here instead of play because I have it already installed. Then you will need NIF Optimizer, download the file SSE NIF Optimizer, link to this page is in the description, extract it somewhere and we will use it from there. Then get the ASIS mod from here, link is in the description, do not install this in your game, we will just take something from it. And finally Dual Sheet Redux, the old rim mod, also get it, but do not install in your Skyrim yet. Now we will move Skyprods and I'll show you how we do that. First of all, open the original Dual Sheet Redux mod that you downloaded with 7-zip. And I will put it on one side. Then open the ASIS mod with 7-zip and I will put it on the other side. Here I have my Dual Sheet, here I have my ASIS. Go into Data using 7-zip, go into Base mod. Go into Skyprog Patchers, go into Dual Sheet Redux and double click the jar file Dual Sheet Redux Patch Jar. In the other 7-zip where we have the ASIS open, go into Data, go into Skyprog Patchers, go into ASIS and go into ASIS Jar. Now go back to Dual Sheet Redux Archive, click on the Skyprog and delete it. 
When you hit delete on your keyboard, you will be asked for confirmation. Are you sure you want to delete Skype Rock? Okay. And it's gone from the archive. It's the power of 7z. Now go back to the Asis archive and click on the Skype Rock folder here and drag it over to Dual Sheet Redux. You will receive a confirm file copy dialog. Click yes. Close both windows. At the end you receive this. File Dual Sheet Redux jar was modified. Do you want to update the archive? Click OK. You can confirm that your archive was changed when you see today's date as the modification date in the new file and also the size changed from the original 47128 kilobytes to 47159 kilobytes. I advise to rename the file straight away to Asis Edit 1 so that you don't confuse the two files in the coming steps. Now I will extract the dual sheet redux with the edited Skype rock 7zip extract here. And this data folder here is the extracted dual sheet redux, including our already made Skyproc edit. Now navigate where you have extracted NIF optimizer, run it. In NIF optimizer, navigate to where you extracted the dual sheet already edited so this is the data folder click select folder and now as i can see the data folder which is the extracted dual sheet is selected leave the default options you can see here an option head parts only this mod does not contain any head parts if it would then it would be a bit more complicated if you optimize head parts the standard way then the game will crash so if you would like to optimize other mods and they contain head parts you will need to do a little more than that. For dual sheet redux it is enough that we have the right folder selected so the entire data folder of the extracted mod and head parts deselected all the options here as they were by default. I can click optimize. Optimization finished, I can close NIF Optimizer, navigate to the Dual Sheet Redux data, this is the mod, and right click on it, 7-zip add to archive, Dual Sheet Redux, Asis Edit, NIF Optimized. So that I know that this is the further version of the file that I'm going to use from now on. As you can see the size has changed from 47 megabytes to 35 megabytes. Now this part will be from the old video as patching DSR itself has not changed. As this is from the old video, please disregard the older and different mod versions. We have the mod organizer part and uh, mod installations already covered. Now it's time to move the dual sheet redux as is edit nif optimized 7z into the place where I download and keep the mods that I installed with mod organizer. Once the mod is there, I can switch to my downloads tab in the right pane of mod organizer. I do not query info for this as this is a custom mod and it uh, stems from old dream. I can double click and install it. We will receive some options in the interactive installer. Whether I want to install the patcher and vanilla meshes and whether I want to automatically install patches for mods that I have. I select it as well. Click next. Do you use a swords on back skeleton? Yes, I do. Skyrim weapon the larpification project? No. Standalone mods. The options here should be selected pretty much automatically. As I see campfire is selected and I indeed have it. Frostfall is not selected. I select frostfall. Immersive Armors is selected, that's good, I don't have immersive weapons. So if you are to install any of those mods in the future, you will need to redo this Dual Sheet Redux installation to include any further possible patches. Now I click Install. The mod is installed. I can move it now to my character overhaul mods below the dual wield improved animation and activate it. 
A new plugin was installed Dual Sheet Redux ESP. That means I need to sort the load order with loot. The load order was sorted. I can see that Dual Sheet Redux went behind Realistic Water 2, so I can continue. Before we continue, open your main game directory where your Skyrim exe and your data folder is and find the file creationkit.ini because we already have creationkit installed, we did that before. Creationkit.ini, open it and under the general section, just almost at the end here, add this line B allow multiple master loads equals 1. We will need it for the next operations. Of course, save the ini file. Now we will be resaving Dual Sheet Redux ESP in Creation Kit to, for it to be compatible with Skyrim Special Edition. Before doing so, before resaving an ESP, always open it up first in SSE Edit. I will select None, then I will only select the Dual Sheet Redux and open and check what its masters are. So expand the tree, go to file header and here you will see the masters, master files. And as you can see Skyrim ESM and update ESM. That means we will not need to ESMify any plugins. If there would be any ESP master then we would need to ESMify this master first. So in that case we can continue. I will close SSE edit and now I will open dual sheet redux ESP in CK. So I am opening creation kit now. Once creation kit opened, click the open file here, then search for dual sheet redux. I do it by clicking somewhere and hitting the letter D until I see the right plugin, dual sheet redux ESP. Double click this field here to select it and set this active file and click OK. Now it will open, it will take a long time and there will be several error messages. Unless it's complaining about missing masters, click yes to all to any error message you see. That is perfectly normal for creation kit. There we go. Animation byte turn right on a race undead dragon race has no pre-hit frame event. Yes to all. And so on. Click yes to all if you encounter further error messages. After we are through all the error messages, we will get a summary of them. We can just close it. The mod is now opened in the creation kit. And all we need to do at this point is click save and close creation kit. Saving done. It closed and our mod is now resaved and converted to Skyrim Special Edition. Now that our mod is resaved in CK, we can create the exe for the dual sheet redux patcher. To do it, let's click on the data tab here in the right pane of mod organizer, scroll down until we reach the subdirectory skyproc patchers, expand the tree, expand dual sheet redux patch, right click on the dual sheet redux patch dot jar, add as executable and name it dual sheet redux, I name it patcher like that. Click OK. Now the patcher appears on the list here. I can choose it and even add it to the toolbar. It was already added. Yeah, you can do it if you want. Now we are ready to run the patcher tool. You can choose it from the drop down list and click run. This is how it looks. The only thing we need to click here is uh, patch and it will happen will take a while. And the patcher tool is done. Scroll down, double click my override and I see this data over here. It's basically Skyproc patchers folder and uh, the ESP. A new ESP, the dual sheet redux patch ESP. So I can close and after making sure that the override contains only the product of this tool, I can right click override, create mod name it dual sheet redux patch. Now the mod is here. I can tick it and move it right here. Patch is installed. Let's look what it contains. It contains dual sheet redux ESP and the folder skyproc patchers. If it contains an ESP, let's look at the ESPs. And the new ESP is always in the end of the list. 
the one that just jumped in and we will now run loot to set user rules for them to run after bashed patch this is now loot open let's scroll down let's take the dual sheet redux first edit metadata load after type in the exact name of our bashed patch esp so this is bashed and when i start typing I can click and it's here. And then click the save button here. Do the same for the dual sheet redux. Three dots, edit metadata, load after. Bashed patch zero ESP and save. I can close loot. And now when I sort the load order I can see the dual sheet redux and dual sheet redux patch ESP are correctly loaded after the bashed patch. So now I can rebuild it. I can enable all. If you need disabling any plugins, like in my case it's Dindulot and Dindulot ESM, they cannot be enabled for rebuilding of the bashed patch. You can now run Rybash and the dual sheet redux patch will be reported as a form 43 old version plugin, but it is okay, I was told by experienced users to have it like that. And since it is after the bashed patch, it will not be incorporated into the bashed patch. So I can rebuild the patch. The patch was rebuilt and as you can see the last mod in the bashed patch is now the RAOLA patch which is over here before the bashed patch and the dual sheet redux mods are not included in that. I can click OK and close it, enable my Dindulot, ESP and ESM and the game is ready to be played. And as far as the dual sheet redux uh, patch ESP is concerned, you don't need to worry about the form 43, it is ok for it to appear there. The game test was already done and the footage is in the beginning of the video. Thank you for watching, subscribe the channel if you like this kind of content, because more is to come. Thanks for all the guys who supported me ironing out some of the things in this video. You can visit us on Discord, the link is in the video description, so have fun out there.